welcome to this episode of Expat Living. I'm Tuzung. This week's edition, as you can see, is all about the arts. And we'll get a chance to meet with our two featured guests who are artists and educators hailing all the way from the United Kingdom. We'll learn about their five-year journey of setting up an organization hoping to provide art services, art education, and design consultancy to the capital city. That organization's name is Workroom 4. The Arts Collective Workroom 4 is the brainchild of Dorian Gibb and his partner Claire Driscoll. The duo has been in Vietnam since 2010. It was a very organic process. I was teaching, uh, Claire was teaching as well, um, and I was looking for a small studio to produce art. And we found um, 400 square meters um, in Zone 9. With the vast space found, what started out as a place for a personal studio became the opportunity to create something new. When I was in London, I went to see the Royal Academy Summer Show. This has been going on for like 260 years. So the idea is it's an open submission exhibition. Anyone can enter and it's a way for artists to come together and to, to kind of show work, not in a solo show, but everyone's work next to each other. When I came back from London, I thought that we should try to do that here. I had to write a lot of emails to a lot of artists, um, asking them to submit their work, and people were supportive, and, and it kind of went from there. It was difficult, though. The first year was really difficult, and then it got easier, and then by the time we had last year's show, we had more than, like, 400 submissions. Workroom 4 developed into a venue that curated and organized exhibitions, completed commissions in design work, and slowly became an arts education hub in Hanoi. Over five years, the space moved from Zone 9 into a hub in the Westlake area for three years. As of 2017, Dorian and Claire have developed Workroom 4 into two venues, one remaining in the Westlake District, while the other in the more central Quan Kim District. Workroom 4 has always been, to my mind, a bit of a triangle in operations between design, education and art. As of December 2017 and going into 2018, Workroom 4 is launching a facet of the business and setting up a new space called Workroom 4 Education. So right now I'm sitting with a classroom within the Workroom 4 and today everyone is learning about how to uh, take a simple still life and the students are going to use different techniques such as collage, uh, screen printing and um, simple kind of cutting and pasting onto the different pages in order to create different works of art and to um, explore how they understand the color red. Workshops like these attract students of different age groups, all here to discover new mediums and different approaches to art. This workshop we started off with what would be a very traditional still life observation. Yes. Um, which in lots of art classes would involve sitting for three hours with a HB pencil, just trying to make a very accurate drawing of what you can see in front of you. What we've tried to do is make it a bit more exciting. So we've got a watercolour painting where we were looking at line, but also tonal variations and different types of red. Um, we've done screen printing where we've taken photographs and then we've screen printed on top and the idea of doing very quick one minute, two minute, three minute drawings so that students really kind of um, become a little bit more free with their work and hopefully a bit more relaxed. The endless possibilities of trying out art processes keep these students captivated. Đây là tác phẩm của con. Bọn con làm về màu đỏ. Thì thầy bảo bọn con làm thì liên quan đến màu đỏ thì con làm quả cà chua. 
thầy cho con rất nhiều các loại giấy và thầy, các con có thể uh, kiểu sáng tạo hết mức có thể thì con đã làm cái này con cho màu đỏ hết còn mấy cái này thì con cho còn lại quả cà chua có một cái này con cho quả ớt ạ So we live in like white spaces, so we colored them in and with watercolor pencils and now we're putting water over them to make them look like we painted. Just next door, a younger class is getting to know each other better through drawing one another on a glass door. Many of workroom four instructors like visual artist Enrique Lenz are expats with a professional creative background. Today we made, uh, which is the concept of landscape and mix it with Christmas because it's December. And then the whole idea is to the children get to know contemporary artists and modern artists and modern artworks. And then we make similar activities to those artists so they can make the practical thing and like fun. In the past years, alongside short workshops, Workroom 4 has also held summer art schools or winter classes, giving students a creative learning space during their holidays. One of the first things I remember were that we did sort of a painting uh, and we got certain events from Vietnam and put them into one painting. And we also made like a sort of paper mache um, sculpture to put an eagle. For Dorian, the process of teaching art is an exciting and fruitful experience. When you have students who you kind of see the thinking change and they suddenly realise a concept or an idea that art can do something that they had no, no thought was possible, or, or they find some process or technique or skill that they didn't know they had, that's always really enjoyable. An aspect of the new education hub of Workroom 4 will be a gallery where students can interact with actual works from local artists. Today, this group of students is learning more about the multi-dimensional works of artist Nguyễn Thế Sơn. Tôi thấy cũng khá thú vị khi mà cái ý tưởng của Dorian biến những cái gallery này trở thành gần như là một cái phòng thí nghiệm để cho các em học sinh có thể được tìm hiểu một cái quá trình sáng tạo từ tư duy cho đến cái phương pháp thực hành à, cũng như cái công việc bếp núc của một người nghệ sĩ thì nó diễn ra như thế nào thì tôi thấy đó là một cái 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 cái, cái tượng rất là tốt trong cái giáo dục. Engaging children from a young age in arts is one of the goals that Workroom 4 is trying to achieve in encouraging creativity in Vietnamese youth. I think it gives us an idea of self-identity, self-expression. Um, empathy for others, which I think is so important, um, and it's a very social thing to do, uh, to talk about art, to look at art, it brings people together, which I think is a really nice thing for us to be able to try and help and promote. Dorian Gibb and Claire Driscoll initially met in London during their postgraduate in art education. They would go on to teach art and design across London for another four to five years before seeking a new opportunity in 2010. We decided that some of our skills perhaps could be better used um, somewhere else in the world. We wanted to travel, we wanted to see the world. A job came up at the United Nations International School as the uh, design and technology teacher. So I applied, they phoned me back. Um, I remember speaking to Claire, saying, would you like to go to Vietnam? Um, we read the newspaper for a bit, thought about it, and then we said yes. Dorian and Claire are also artists, with Dorian focusing more on industrial art. The business facet of Workroom 4 has been maintained through the duo's completion of commissioned design work, whether it be interior design or branding. No artists really like to talk about their personal work, but then I also just I do a lot of commercial illustration or kind of 
design that's experimentation for that becomes a product or becomes something like branding and concept design is probably the design work that I do most of the digital and graphic design an identity or a theme or a, what a brand says and kind of the conception of that and then taking that through to a visual identity. With the space on Funbo Cho Street dedicated to education, the space on Thong of Run Street is meant to keep the other two corners of the workroom for Triangle active. And this place is like for production, for design and for kind of art sales. The friendships and connection that Dorian and Claire have initiated with local Vietnamese artists form the foundation to the art facet of Workroom 4. Ngo Van Suk is an artist who has worked with Dorian and Claire since the first days of Workroom 4. His works use gas torches to create paintings directly on wood. Cái nhận định đầu tiên của tôi là rất là chuyên nghiệp. À, chuyên nghiệp từ những cái nhỏ nhất, à, cái uh, giấy mời, cái uh, màu sơn, rồi các uh, phông chữ trong bản thiết kế, rồi thì sách. Tôi đã từng triển lãm cá nhân cùng với World Home For. Tôi rất thích cách làm họ. Claire and Dorian have witnessed changes in the art scene in the past five years. I think perspective of artists has developed. Artists are being more introspective and less figurative, outwardly figurative. Presentation of an idea has, has developed greatly. From how artists want to show their work in an exhibition, to how they frame their work, to how they finish their sculpture, to... So yeah, it's developed quite a lot, quickly, yeah. This site used to be the first seaplane station in Vietnam, dating back to the French period. Located next to Hanoi's West Lake, it was abandoned 10 years ago. This model shows how the site can be given a new life as a community hub with a biotech water filtration system underneath. This, on the other hand, is an old construction site being reimagined as an urban farming system. Nó sử dụng các cái vườn theo chiều đứng và kết cấu ở đây là các cái khối như thế này. Là cái khối 343 thì nó sẽ kết cấu rất là vững chắc. Nghĩa là cái này sẽ là một cái xu hướng trong tương lai của kiến trúc. Bởi vì kiến trúc là nó sẽ phải phát triển dựa trên những cái cũ chứ không phải là lúc nào cũng phải đập đi xây lại. These were among the five works presented at the final showcase of the one month immersive workshop program called Beyond Structure. Claire and Workroom 4 set up the workshop program and curated the final exhibition under the sponsorship of the Spanish Embassy in Vietnam. Originally what happened was is we had 35 sites for the students to analyze. So each group looked at six sites and then they had to reduce and reduce and eliminate and choose their final site using these very strict kind of urban analysis methods that were brought in by the other architects that were working on this project. During the workshop, students got a chance to converse with renowned architects, urban development specialists and habitat organizations from Spain and Vietnam. It's good to bring them those ideas about architects should be somebody uh, who serves the society, who identify the, the social, social and community problems to solve them with architecture. The event marks the 40th anniversary of diplomatic relations of Spain and Vietnam. What I think is important is, is, is knowing each other. And this is uh, something that we have to build, especially with young people. Those are the ones presenting their projects. We'll have a, a nice souvenir of Spain. And I, I really would like that, that these uh, Spanish uh, uh, students knowing about, about Vietnam. For Workroom 4, organizing such an event touches upon the three sides of the collective, whether it be design, arts or education. The 
works of Beyond Structure all share the same desire of creating new social value for forgotten structures, striving for a more conducive urban environment. As we've seen in our program, Workroom 4 is all about connecting the public with the arts and bringing them closer to the arts. And one of the ways they're doing is that is to provide a platform where people can purchase works of art, affordable ones and original works of art from local artists, whether they be Vietnamese or expat. And that platform is called Art For You. It's been held eight times so far over the past three years. And today we're going to visit the latest edition of Art For You, held in Hanoi in collaboration with the Manzi Art Cafe. Let's have a look. Art For You this year filled the two stories of Manzi Art Cafe with artworks all up for grabs. I bought this fantastic print of the Hanoi railway station and I love the vibrant green colour but I also love the idea of combining math and art. So these tan gram kind of images of people and trees um, are really appealing to me. Tiêu biểu nhất của Việt Nam. Bản thân em cũng không am hiểu lắm về nghệ thuật nhưng mà em cảm thấy rất là cảm nhận được những cái đặc biệt ở trong Việt Nam từ những cái điều nhỏ nhất qua những cái bức tranh. The works on display are diverse in terms of mediums and materials used. Tác phẩm này của tôi là đây là bóng hồng. Khi mình vẽ bức tranh này thì tôi nhớ lại cái cái Hà Nội trong cái cái ký ức của tôi, cái chất liệu mà tôi sử dụng cái giấy bạc thủ công ngày xưa và cái trên cái nền vải đay, cái chất liệu mình sử dụng nó cũng nó cũng mộc mạc như 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 cái tinh thần của của cái câu chuyện và cái tác phẩm mình muốn đề cập đến. For visitors to the capital city, Art for You offers a more contemporary piece of Hanoi. I really appreciate being able to learn more about Vietnamese artists and instead of buying kind of souvenirs because I come to Vietnam often, I really want to take back something that represents the culture and kind of the modernity of, of Vietnam and how it's really um, uh, growing as a country. Workroom 4 and Manzi Art Cafe together have curated the artworks for the last eight editions of Art for You held in both Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. Nó chỉ làm cơ hội để người ta có thể ai có thể đến xem tác phẩm của nhiều nghệ sĩ khác nhau từ thành danh cho đến mới nổi và cũng là cơ hội để tất cả người trẻ có thể đến và xem những tác phẩm rất thoải mái nhất. Usually organized over five days, the fair looks to be seen as a more affordable art fair where art lovers can purchase works of art priced between 25 to 900 US dollars. We've paid more than 2 billion Vietnam dong back to artists over three years. It feels like a really special thing to do, to be able to, to create a platform where artists can sell their work. Today, Claire is giving an artist tour of art for you hoping to give visitors a more in-depth experience that goes beyond just buying art. You buy a picture, you're not just buying a picture, you're buying like the thinking, you're buying the training, you're buying the mistakes, <laughs> you're buying the things that didn't work out, you're buying the, you know, the whole process for the artist. As cheesy as it sounds, you are taking a bit of them away and putting it into your home and, if, and you have a relationship with the artwork. In the education hub of Workroom 4, Dorian is meeting with a group of staff members to discuss ideas on new creative arts classes. Diverse art mediums as well as a different way of thinking about and learning art are the ultimate future goal of Workroom 4. Cái cách mà Dorian và Claire tạo ra một cái sân chơi cũng như là những cái không gian 
để mà những cái tiếng nói mà nó đa dạng từ những cách tiếp cận nghệ thuật cũng như cách thực hành nghệ thuật khác nhau nó được về chung một chỗ và 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 cùng nhau cất cái tiếng nói để thấy rằng nghệ thuật nó không hề đơn giản nghệ thuật nó rất là đa dạng và mỗi một cá nhân là à, là một câu chuyện đáng được trân trọng. I'd really love to see that broaden and widen the reach to lots of other young Vietnamese um, who I think are interested in this opportunity and hopefully gain from it, enjoy the process, meet like-minded people, have some fun, which is kind of important, um, and just uh, widen our reach. I just hope that it remains and it doesn't, that it, it doesn't exist solely because of us, that if we're not here, then it still exists, that is about um, an ethos and a practice. So the vision was always just to do what we enjoy, um, do what we feel we have some passion for, um, and hopefully create a platform for other people to do the same. And that was our edition of Expat Living this week, learning more about the wonderful journey of Claire and Dorian in setting up Workroom 4. Now, whether it be promoting the local artists or promoting arts education or design, their ultimate goal is to bring the arts closer to the public and particularly the Vietnamese community. And that was our edition of Expat Living. And now, as always, we'll take a look at Time Out. Ho Chi Minh City is home to many contemporary art centers, including the San Art, the Zia Project, the Zero Station, or the Saigon Outcast. But there is a brand new creative hub for local art lovers. It is called the Factory Contemporary Art Centers, located in a 1,000 square meter area of Tao Dien in District 2, Ho Chi Minh City. So what do they have in here? Well, let's follow me and explore the so-called biggest contemporary art center in Ho Chi Minh City. The Factory Contemporary Art Center was opened in April 2016. It aims to bring artists and art lovers together through the shared language of art. The concept incorporates an educational art library, a workshop, co-working space, art and craft classes, and most significantly, an exhibition space. So the Factory Contemporary Art Center has opened its very first exhibition named Technophobe, and today we are very lucky to have here Ms. Bao, who will show us what is special about this exhibition. The Technophobe is the first exhibition in Saigon that using technology to create art instead of uh, the traditional material. And uh, I would like to introduce you first, uh, the main artist is um, Udam Deng Nguyen. He created this app called License to Draw. So okay. License to Draw is an is. app yeah, mm -hmm. that you can download on App Store or Google Play Store. Okay. So you download it in your device like this. Like what you have here. Yes. And then from this, you can start. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, it's moving. Oh. You can start controlling the robot and the robot will carry the colors. So when, it's, when it moves, then it starts drawing? Yeah, and anytime, anywhere in the Not world. Not just here? Not just here. Wow. Whether you are in Yokohama, Tokyo, New York, Paris, <laughs> you can always accept. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. So you can actually draw some painting without touching it? Without touching it. What is special about this corner? Okay, uh, this corner is artworks of Chuk An. He oh. is a Vietnamese, half Vietnamese, half French artist oh. who've been living in Vietnam for about five years. Mm. He's a painter. Mm. So this is his first time using 3D printing technology to create this. The Quantic Family Collection by Chuk An is a visually enticing installation. The two walls are covered with images of faces and masks from all over the globe, cut up and mixed together 
to make strange new near faces. The 3D printed masks made from acrylic render server of the faces from the wall in physical form. For example, uh, this, this girl, mm -hmm. her name is Catherine. Hello, Catherine. <laughs> yes, so Catherine is, is made from, you see the Y, the Y part? Yeah. It's made from this painting. And the, the, the teeth and the, the details inside is from the, the determinator. And she's, she's beautiful. She's printed out like perfectly. You can see all, it's yeah, go very it's, detailed. It has the tex texture and... <laughs> amazing. Yeah, it's amazing, right? So yeah. we don't have to use hand to do mm -hmm. it anymore since we have a machine who does sculpture. Yeah. So the question is, where is the position of the artist mm -hmm. when machines can do that part? The newest and largest contemporary art space in Ho Chi Minh City, The Factory, has highlighted Ho Chi Minh City-based contemporary artists. It offers a rare peek at the new and future art forms in local art scene. Over here is a small-scale wooden arena containing sand, which is scanned continuously by what appears to be some kind of radar. After my peaceful time observing the so-called Zen Garden, I have a chance to interact with a projected hologram video of artist Ngoc No through the Kinec 3D scanned image. The artist, in the traditional Vietnamese clothes of the goddess of mountains and forest, is dancing to a juxtaposition of tradition and contemporary music. Meet Cao Hoang Long, he's now retouching his artwork the infinite in the finite. Lam said whenever he looked at the reflection of the moon on the well water, it was like discovering a whole new universe at the bottom of its depths. Mình muốn nói về cái vô hạn ở trong cái hữu hạn tức là cái giếng thì nó là một cái vật thể nó là hữu hạn, còn cái trí tưởng tượng hay là cái cảm xúc của mình thì nó là vô hạn và mình muốn cho người xem có được cái cảm xúc đấy khi mà đối diện với cả cái tác phẩm của mình. So this is the last piece wow in the series of artworks of Udang exhibit this time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's also a, Techno Folk. Yeah, it's yeah. also in Techno Folk, but this is a special edition called mm -hmm. Laser Shooting Room. Laser? Yeah, wow. laser, using laser shooting. Mm -hmm. So we have like three different targets and we have three laser guns. So oh. using the axe, yes, you can shoot the target. When you see the red dot, go on the target. You shoot it and the blue dots are going to burn the paper. Oh, it's yeah. burn Using the paper. Using electricity, you burn the points on the paper. Oh. It's another way to create you know, art for him. Mm. According to the artist, NASA is asking artists to send in images of their work, which will be then sent to the stars. You never know, perhaps artwork created from laser shooting here might be favored by an alien collector. Contemporary art sometimes seems a little bit weird to the public who does not feel the art. However, it has become an important part of the global art scene and many artists have become famous. So if you want to learn more about Vietnam's contemporary art or just simply want to find an inspiring space to work and to socialize, you surely should not miss this. And that is also wrapped up our journey this week with Expat Living and Time Out. We hope you've enjoyed the edition. For more of our content, do log on to vtv4.vn or our YouTube channel at vtv4go. Thank you very much for tuning in and until next time, goodbye for now.